News 46 is brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, a Pahrump pasture is the victim of a hate crime. A local woman needs a little help from Pahrump. And a longtime volunteer is recognized for his acts of kindness. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. And Unette Gentry. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening, it's Tuesday, March 7th, 2017. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And I'm Unette Gentry for News 46. Pastor Arthur Charette from Voices of Triumph Church says he's the victim of a hate crime after reaching out to the homeless here in town. Uh, graffitied every part of it on the inside. Uh, they urinated out the front door and out the back window. It's all over the ground. Um, they uh, made threats that they were going to destroy the ministry and that they didn't like uh, me because I, I, had, I had to hook up to power, mm -hmm. which was really in violation. So I have to be in, you know, I, I can't be in violation of the, of the city. Okay, I can have one trailer, but not two. Mm -hmm. So, but the the bill was four hundred and fifty dollars with that part of that trailer that, that added to the bill. I use a certain amount of electricity, but um, they uh, I offer I told them I got to got to cut the power. If it's warm in there, you can sleep in there. If you don't you don't want to, you can come sleep in the church. Mm -hmm. I said, I can't afford this. The bill was $450. I got the bills. And before I started bringing everybody in here, I had eight men mm -hmm. and one female. So at this point, they've got a three-day notice. You haven't seen them around. Hopefully, they're gone. But there's some I'm damage. I'm sure they're sleeping in there. There's some damage to the trailer, though. And one of the things that it says is uh, talking about uh, your religion. You're Jewish. I have a little bit of Jewish blood, yes. Mm -hmm. My great grandmother. My grandmother, yeah, my grandmother was full blooded Jewish. You're wearing a Jewish star right now. Yeah, well, I do. I'm, I'm honoring her. So, you, this is a Christian church, though, right? It's a Christian church, but we study, the, we study Hebrew, uh, we study the Hebrew language. What's the problem with, their Jew, with the Jewish religion? Where did that come up with these people? I, they don't like Jews. They wrote you on the ceiling. The Nye County Sheriff's Office is, of course, looking for these individuals. Um, they, there's your pressing charges against them. I'm pressing charges against them for vandalism and a hate crime. At this point, where does this put you as far as helping people? I'm still going to help them. I don't, I, I, I've been doing this a long time. I did this in California for 11 years. I've been a pastor since 1984. Okay, that don't bother me. The Republican Party's new bill to repeal the Affordable Care Act is already in trouble. The proposal has invited criticism from rank-and-file lawmakers, powerful conservative groups, and key senators who could threaten the bill's survival. They're warning party leaders that the bill simply doesn't go far enough in gutting the current health care system. Health care experts widely agree that the GOP's plan would result in millions losing coverage coverage, an outcome that some Republicans are reticent to try to defend to their constituents back home. The legislation would scrap the individual mandate, replacing it with refundable tax credits for individuals to purchase health insurance. It would also restructure Medicaid and defund Planned Parenthood. Well, Pahrump resident Lucille Dunlap is asking for help. She is waiting to bury her deceased father, George, but is short on funds $1,500. We spoke to George's loving daughter today about keeping her dad's final wishes, which are to be buried with his wife in California. My dad passed away on J January the 20th, 2017 at Mountain View Hospital. And we haven't 
gotten the money to bury him yet. His 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 grave is paid for as far as the opening and closing, but not for the funeral. This is the 43rd day that my dad has been in a freezer in California. And my dad made a mistake. So what what's with the mistake? What happened with that? The the mistake was he put the wrong year. That was the mistake. My dad was 75. My dad was sick. He died in his sleep. So he was 75, but he put the wrong year of his date of birth? The, the year he was born. He put 10, 13, 42 instead of 41. So when we initially, the doctor that pronounced my dad dead, uh, deceased at Mountain View Hospital, mm -hmm. He filed the death certificate 10 13 42. So when they went to file it, there's no such person. So we had a problem with that, which has made this thing extend so far. I, I need the community that I live in to step up and help me. Please, I've tried the churches here in Pahrump. I've tried what I know how to do. And if I had to money this, if I had it myself, my dad wouldn't be in a, a freezer. It's, it's like quadruple jeopardy. And his body is probably sitting there deteriorating. And I can't do anything about it. He's a veteran, and uh, he wanted to be buried, though, at Eternal Valley um, Memorial On Park. On top of his wife, that's paid for. It's just the funeral and all the mess. Cause we thought everything was taken care of, and as you can see, we had day 43. So what we're looking for is there's some big funeral expenses but there's only a little bit left over because the family has donated as much as they can. There's like $1,500 left. Yes. So what we're asking is people if they can pay 20 bucks or if they can do 100 bucks or if they can do anything After. to pay it towards Eternal Valley Mortuary so that he can be buried where he wanted to be buried in California. Yes, that was his last wishes and I would like to grant that for my dad. All right, so let's give the information on Eternal Valley Memorial Park, and that is at the address, uh, 23287 North Sierra Highway in Newhall, 91321. Here's phone number, 661-259-0800. Any donations should be made under the name of George Dunlap. That's my dad's name, and anything the community that I live in could help me with to get this rectified would be greatly appreciated. I'm my dad's oldest, so... I'm, everything falls on me. And any help for that family would be greatly appreciated. And please stay tuned after this break, Court Report.